Hello and welcome to a very sunny Willow Fields. Uh, we have got back from our lovely holiday, but the holiday itself was absolutely, it was just what we needed. Um, it was, it was wonderful to be taken to somewhere that's unfamiliar to us, but familiar to the people that we were traveling with, Steve and Viv, because not only were they the best hosts ever, um, that we got on amazingly well. It was just easy, incredibly easy to spend time with them. But because they knew the area, they were like, we should go to this restaurant. We should go here and try the tapas here or we should go there. And honestly, that just took the pressure off everything. So we were just following along like little puppy dogs. Just <laughs> then just take us with you wherever we were going. Um, and it was perfect. It went far too quickly, far too quickly. But um, yeah, it was just what we needed. And um, yeah, we're already talking about the next one to uh, to get us out there. Um, we all really need a, a break from everything and it's lovely to be able to uh, to go and do that. So yeah, absolutely wonderful. And then, um, and then yeah, back now. Um, the lead up to that was absolutely amazing. So all the camp van camp out, I know we only got to see a little bit of it. Um, but that was absolutely wicked. Um, it was it was just what the doctor ordered, if not a little bit weird of seeing all the people and, and no hugging and and things. And um, it does seem that a lot of the topic of conversation was cancer. And by the end of the weekend, I think I was incredibly fed up of just even thinking about it. But that's a standard thing for me. It doesn't take a lot to uh, get fed up of talking about it. Um, my talk went very well. There was um, a real good amount of interaction from people. The room was full, which was always good to see. And personally, I think that Tash, Shaz and I absolutely smashed it. It was really good. Um, so here's just a little bit um, with one of the questions from the show, just so you can have a little taste. Well, I'm a big fan of the like, idea of having my own. What would you say would be a good sort of start to begin with cancer or... So you can talk about it and I'm going to speak to someone and probably do. But when it comes to things like this, I feel so sad that I just couldn't see you really well. So, yeah. what would you say going forward if you were being a good sort of starting point? No, that's a really great question. So, what would you say if you could start with someone who 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 could Italy, you know, through Europe, all that kind of thing. And I did that one with the Asians at first. But now, I think it's your own mind if you play streets on you. I would start with maybe going to a camp site and then getting to know the van and then just chilling. There's nothing wrong with that at all. And I mean, I go to camp site regularly. Um, and once you know the van, then you can branch out a little bit further. A bit of advice at night time, just make sure that you've got a little bit to do in the van, your tennis on, you know, because during the day you look out, it's beautiful, and then you go in the van, it's just the same, but then you might need to start to play little tricks and you say, What's happening? What's that noise? And it's not me, you know, is it? Yeah, that's something really good tip actually about having a few things to do. So, uh, what I do is make sure I've got something down over my iPad and Netflix series or comfort series and have it as a company and um, for certainly when I first started going out on my own I thought maybe the thing about you know what I can be in some so much scratch and I was sort of like oh this is really an out there again and um, so then we came to the world sorry Game of Thrones, <laughs> good series. <laughs> yeah, friends, <exactly. laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah that's that be how I did start is this matter going to the post office uh, because then it was not all the experience I was used to absolutely it's uh, having things to do when we're in the van but i found a big change as well with being in the van or job uh, like you say, I've almost been for, and I've done this for years. This is going to be brilliant. And then the first night, I'm like, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing. I know. Um, but it was, um, like I said, it's all in your head. 
Um, but then what I didn't do was I started going around and visiting friends. I could stay nearby friends. You kind of got the wow camping where you're visiting people during the day and you've still got that same unit of them being there, but you're still getting to travel around as you're doing it too. So it's just finding what works for you, really. You might want to play all sorts of tricks on you, and it will tell you that there are things. I mean, I've got CCTV on the outside of my camera, so I still get screwed, but now I can log and check and see if it's anything. It's nice having that little window to the outside without having to open the window to the outside. Um, but yeah, there, there's just many things you can do. Keep yourself up, 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 stay away from the time, and, um, and give yourself a break for feeling nervous about it, because it's a big deal. That's really good to see that she's back there visiting friends. Yeah, yeah but that's not enough for now. It's not So now it's back with a bang. Um, I've been out already today. I had a phone call when we were in Spain on the Friday, uh, Friday morning to go through all the prep. So they started talking about, I uh, sat in bed with a coffee, with a view of the sea from my window and I got the call. I know it was needed, I know, but um, started talking about all the side effects, um, all the foods I can't eat. Uh, not Lots of people have been mentioning about food and things, but it was just literally have to eat like a pregnant person um, because I can't have rare steak or runny eggs or anything that could... I've got to be very careful because of my... Um, immunity will be obviously fairly decreased on that so i've got to be careful with that i can't go and eat out any new takeaways or they don't recommend it um or if i do make sure i've got i've got to make sure they've got a five star rating for their hygiene so there's lots of things like that that they've asked me to do um covered some bits of relationship advice as always seems to come up because of what's going on there and and it made me more nervous than i'd been for a while and as soon as it got to less than a week, the nerves started coming in. And I've been tearful and a bit crotchety. Um, I've just been a bit crotchety now, a bit oversensitive. Um, John's offered to do the washing, bless him, and goes to do the washing. And I say to him, do you mind using these? Because he literally will put an eco egg in with his washing and that would be that. And I'm just like... I really like my little smelly balls that are put in that make everything, the, the fresh beads or whatever they're called. Um, I really like them. And I needed to treat some bits of clothes with my spray uh, to make sure that the stains came out and things like that. So when I asked him, he went, well, you'll have to tell me. And I'm like, well, I'm trying to tell you. And he just is quiet and he looks at me and he goes, go on then. And I'm like, okay, so this needs to go in, in here and that needs to go in there. And he goes, oh yeah, because I don't normally do any of that. And I just took everything back and I'm like, do you take him washing then? <laughs> yeah, he's taken my washing. He wouldn't leave without taking my washing. Um, and I'll apologise when he gets back. But um, I've had to go to get bloods at the hospital this morning. So I've already been out and I went by myself. Um, I actually thought that it might be nice. I've been so peopley just to go and have a drive down. And of course, as soon as I left here, I felt like I didn't particularly want to be on my own. But I did. And I went down and I bumped into Bill and Lorraine in the car park. So, hi, guys. Hope everything went well uh, for the day. They were in their motorhome in the um, in the car park waiting for an appointment. Um, so we stopped and had a chat on the way back out after having the bloods done. Um, and then it's all go for tomorrow. So these bloods are just to get a level, apparently, for um, what my bloods are like now compared to what they're going to be after tomorrow, for chemo day tomorrow. So this is happening a lot. Um, Dan, I don't know. I don't know why. Because I'm not, I'm not scared. I'm not, I'm not anything. I just, I think I'm finally because it's so close now, it's like, it was just something that was said before. And now it's not just being said, it's it's happening and it's happening tomorrow. And all the things I keep saying that I can do or want to do or will get done or anything like that. Now there's no time because then my treatment starts tomorrow and then that's it until the end of June. So it's a bit, a bit thingy. 
They're a bit weird. But I have been um, probably not helping myself. Um, we got the flight back Friday night. I think it was quite late by the time we got in. Uh, but we did get to see the Aurora. So we go in, um, staying with our friends again for the night, uh, but in the vans. And um, I'd seen some posts on Instagram uh, saying about the Aurora. And I'm like, oh, because I'd, I'd been having a look on uh, in the in the car ride for because it was all over the news. So, of course, you pop out and it just looks like clouds. And it's like, those look like clouds, but look, they look wispy. They look... Like, they're moving. How strange is that? Get your phone out of your pocket, point it at them, and, oh, my goodness. It was uh, it was mind-blowing. So we were out quite late, um, just stood on a hill and looking at everything, and it was beautiful. And I had to get up at, uh, half, uh, well, at half five in the morning, quarter past five, ready for a shift at six. Um, did my shift, drove back to Willow Fields, um, there were 200 army cadets here um, on a rally, so um, I was helping out a bit where, wherever I could and whatever I could for that. And then I had to go to bed early because I was up again at 6 on Sunday for another shift. And then I slept most of the day Sunday because I proper whacked it out of me. But then I had to get up at half 6 this morning to get to Hull for quarter past 8. Um, and I've done shopping and come back so now we've got a fully stocked freezer so we don't have to worry about anything like that a lot of them are very very easy but nice and uh nice and tasty meals to do um because we might have long days you know and i've had to phone my doctor to try and get a fit note for work but one that will allow me to do reduced hours if i need to rather than completely off work so i've, I've left that with the doctor i've got to phone back later so my list is ever growing and my time is ever decreasing. And I'm hoping that I'm going to just breeze through it all. But the not knowing that is what's bothering me right now. So, yeah. So that's where we are. Um, John's got a bit of a video in progress for the John and Mandy channel. Covering a bit of uh, uh, all we've been doing up until treatment starts tomorrow. He's going to do a little bit of video in from there. So if you want to catch up on how tomorrow goes, then keep an eye out there for when that comes out. I'm sure he'll do some editing while he's waiting for me. Um, and I'll try and keep updated as much as I can. It'll be, uh, literally be, I'll watch this space and uh, see how we're going. And I'll try, I'm rubbish at Instagram, but I will try and, uh, and keep up with Instagram stuff. So that's it. So from a very delicate Mandy who's looking at laxatives at the moment because I forgot to take them. Um, oh, I forgot to take them before I started filming. So, uh, yeah, I'll go take them and then we'll get some food and I'll get ready for my last shift today that starts at six. And uh, I'll go for tomorrow. Okay. Well, well uh, take loads of care, everybody. Like I say, I'll keep you informed. I, uh, I hope everyone's well and enjoying all the sunny weather and got to see lots and lots of the aurora the other night because it was amazing. And, um, and yeah, I will let you know how things go and I'll catch up with you all soon. Take care, guys. Bye.